Well, hello. I'm Jay Michaels from the Weeby Wake Up Morning Show. It's time for another Tuesday test drive. We're at our feature dealer of the week this week, Dan Perkins Subaru, one Boston Post Road in Milford, but which by the way is exit 35 off of I-95. We're going to have a great test drive today. First of all, here is Sid from Dan Perkins. Good morning. How are Good you? See you again. So we're going to be test driving the 2017. Subaru Impreza WRX. I didn't realize we were going to go out in, in this, this car. This is, a, this is a powerful vehicle. Yeah, this is our full-on rally car. It's really a race vehicle modified for the street. Wow. So it's got a turbocharged engine that makes 265 horsepower, the 0 to 16 in just under 6 seconds. Wow. So power to weight ratio, everything is about power and engine on this car. Uh, there's not a lot of thrills, just power. Full-on rally car, that's what I remember from that spiel. And we're going to jump in this car, take a ride. Uh, we expect this to be a unique experience. Can you come through for us? It's going to be a fun experience. Yeah, you're going to get to experience the power, uh, given out a four-cylinder engine, making that much power, wow. not a lot of weight. So it's going to feel a lot of torque. Uh, it's going to be a, maybe a scary experience at times, but fun. Sit. Let's head outside. Let's go to that. Let's car. go. Here we go. Tuesday test drive in progress. Feature dealer Dan Perkins Subaru. We're in a race car today, folks. It's the 2017 Subaru Impreza WRX. Sid, this baby's got power, I can tell. It's only got four cylinders. I don't understand. Four cylinder turbocharged engine. This actually comes with a more powerful version called the WRX STI. Uh -huh. So this is a WRX that makes 265. The STI bumps it up to 305 horsepower. The acceleration on this car, you could almost feel it watching us. I mean, uh, I feel like I'm on a roller coaster here. So it's got instantaneous power and pickup. What is the, how do we get, how, how long does it take to get to 60, zero to 60? Zero to 60 on this car, depending on whether it's Japan here, is about six seconds or under six seconds, which is pretty quick considering it's a four cylinder engine, but all wheel drive, so you launch straight, it's great in the snow. It's the same car as you see them race down the rallies in the mountains and things with slight modifications to the, the uh, suspension, not as so much the engine. When you think of a race car in general, you don't think of all-wheel drive. Uh, is there any hindrance there? Is there any compromise in, in handling and speed? Uh, well, not really. I mean, nowadays all uh, supercars are becoming all-wheel drive. Uh, Bugattis, uh, Lamborghinis, uh, Audi really? R8s, really? Porsches. More and more all-wheel drive is coming to the table. Before there was a hindrance with all-wheel drive, uh, you would lose uh, steering feel in all-wheel drive, but nowadays with electronic aids, uh, torque vectoring, you, you have the same ability as a rear-wheel drive car. Nice thing about an all-wheel drive vehicle is anybody can get into it and drive it with confidence. It gives you a supreme level of confidence because it's so planted to the road. All right, so let's, let's talk about fuel efficiency. What are the numbers? So this car is rated up to 32 miles per gallon. Wow. Up to meaning the turbo engages at 34,000 RPMs and revs out all the way to the top. So if you're not smashing your foot into it all the time, it's gonna get good gas mileage. The problem is, can you not smash it all the time? It's so addicting, that acceleration feel, that most people that have this car are really pushing it all the time. And it's made to do that. The engine is bulletproof in this vehicle. We're gonna go into this corner and the difference between a sports car that's well balanced and not is this when you go into a corner if I'm pushing the steering wheel it's not moving gotcha. anywhere so we're we're having fun here okay but it's control <laughs> if wow, we did that right of my life let me tell you folks if <laughs> we if we did that in a rear wheel drive car we'd have some issues we'd probably spin out even in a front wheel drive car that's what all wheel drives allows you to do 2017 Impreza WRX let's talk about how many of these have you got at Dan Perkins Super right now? Uh, there, we've got a good supply because we sell the most in New England, uh, so we have a pretty good supply of WRXs, but it's not a car that you're going to see 30, 40 right. of them on a lot. Right. Uh, they build them in limited numbers, they hold their value exceptionally well, and the, the market for it is incredibly competitive. Uh, but uh, yeah, we have a pretty good supply of them. They do come with our lifetime warranty that does cover the turbo and the, all the high performance parts, which is a big deal on a vehicle like this, so you have the confidence of being able to drive it for many years and not having to worry about engine issues or failures and not being covered under warranty. Buying versus leasing, any difference or just take your pick? Well, these cars, they lease very well because they hold the highest residual value in their class. 
but they also that doesn't matter whether you buy the car or lease it, right. it you're always going to have equity in it it's one interesting car where three years down the road it's going to be worth a thousand dollars less than what you paid for it three years ago with 36,000 miles really? they just hold their value insanely well a lot of people that look at these things when they're used it doesn't really make a lot of sense why they sell for about the same price as what you can buy a new one you can lease this car for under three hundred dollars a month with minimum out of pocket obviously at dan perkins when you lease your car we give you your free basic maintenance as well, which is another plus that you don't get at other Subaru dealerships. So we cover all the oil changes and the tire rotations, the things that the car's gonna need in the lease term as well. Certainly, people can come out to Dan Perkins, take their own test drive and get a feel for this car. It's got the power. Absolutely, anytime.